Hey guys, Terry's Hype here on the second channel and today we're back with the car review series. Now this will be continuing every Monday from here on out so you won't have a spam of them all day, every, of, every day uh, in a week. So it's just going to be one a week on the Monday. Now today we are finishing off the last of the Hot Wheels cars with the 2011 Hot Wheels Bone Shaker. Now this is a car I'm really not that interested in and you can get some court grades but we'll go all through that once we go through the statistics of it so um, if you want to get this car you can buy it from the auto show for 142,500 credits or you can get it for free because you have to have the expansion pass obviously to buy this car you can get it for free with the first time purchase of this vehicle you could also get it through the auction house or if you if you have the expansion pass, or you could get it just by playing through the Hot Wheels expansion pass because this is uh, for the Hot Wheels expansion. Because I'm pretty sure you get it through just going through the different tiers and unlocking different things. You unlock it as a reward. So, how good is this car statistically? Well, it's in A class. It's about seven nine eight, so it's close to the top of A. My rival, which I've said is the fastest A-Class car we've took around now, which is the Tesla Model S P90D with Ludicrous Mode, which has a time of 105.799, I think that is. But anyway, basically meaning, is electric better than petrol or diesel, whichever one this uses, but I'm pretty sure it's petrol. It's a toy car anyway. So, this car has 402 horsepower. It has 398 foot pounds of torque and it weighs 2,205 pounds. Now, this is a decent power to weight ratio. It obviously doesn't have as much as uh, as much power as like the other uh, cars do. It doesn't have as much as the 700 odd horsepower Hot Wheels Mustang, 1,400 horsepower uh, Twin Mill, but it's got a decent amount of horsepower for A class um, and for the weight it's got. And you'll see why it's not got as much horsepower as a normal A-class car would in just a moment. But it has two O fives on the front, which are tiny, three seven fives on the rear, which are huge, and it has race tires as standard. Now this together is why this car is in A-class and only has 402 horsepower, because it has phenomenal grip levels. Um, it is rear-wheel drive and it is front engine with a 5.7 litre V8. Now this is an I'm not sure if it's naturally aspirated because this is a car, it's not supercharged, you can hear that. Um, and in Forza you can't put a supercharger on it, you can't go with the supercharger so it's not supercharged. It's not twin turboed because you can't put a twin turbo on it or upgrade any twin turbo. Same with the single turbo. So I think it might be naturally aspirated but I don't know because I've not been able to find anything on the internet about the engine of this car since it is a car that was made by Hot Wheels and it isn't actually real. Now. It goes from 0 to 60 in 4 seconds, 100, 0 to 109.0 seconds, 60 to 0 in 146 feet, 100 to 0 in 342 feet, and it has a top speed of 162 miles an hour. Now, acceleration wise, it's pretty decent. Braking wise, it is very, very good. And top speed wise, it is poo, basically. So this car can get accelerated pretty, pretty fast, but that means when you come to the second turn so uh second turn isn't straight so the bit we just was on you're pretty much topped out and that's bad because you're not accelerating to a high speed like other a-class cars would the tesla was getting 160 170 that's an electric car that's, that's running on batteries it's only got one gear so the gear ratios are incredibly incredibly short now the brakes on this car, like I said, are phenomenal. There was, I just couldn't fathom how good these brakes were. I was either braking too early, and then when I found, oh, I've got confidence in these brakes, I'll brake where I see my tire marks. It was a bit too late because that's when the brakes are basically locked. Um, but yeah, this car's pr pretty decent. But is it a car I'm going to use? Not really. And that's because she doesn't have the top speed to be ran in A class. Um, it doesn't have the power. It doesn't have the speed. The, uh, its acceleration is phenomenal. If it was like a short 
a city circuit, then yes, his car would be excellent. But for a track like this, where speed is a thing that ne is needed, it is, like, not good enough. Now, the other Hot Wheels cars have done pretty well, if I'm being honest. They've, they've done pretty decently. The Twin Mill destroyed the uh, S1 class, and I can't remember where the Mustang came. <sighs> Sorry about that. But, um, this just, it doesn't, it feels much faster than what it is. You can take a lot of corner speed. I'm not going to say you can't. You can take a hell of a lot of corner speed because the rear wheels are incredibly, incredibly large with an immense amount of grip through the race tyres. Now, that's good and all because we can cover the speed around the corners like, there is one of the laps where I can I carry immense speed around the final corner, but I've had a crash earlier on, um, which means I don't get the fastest lap time ever. But um, also, what I'm finding is this car has really, really weird turning response. And what I mean by that is you'll turn in, but if you don't straighten the wheels out yourself, and it straightens it out by itself, it will kind of keep turning in that, di that direction. It's kind of got a bit of a floaty um, sort of feel, so it's kind of like driving on ice on Blizzard Mountain, where you turn, but if you're if you're not straight out, it's going to carry on turning that direction because you're on ice. That's how this car feels constantly, and that kind of puts me off this car even more because usually I just let go of the steering wheel and it just goes. Um, I just let the force feedback just put it back into its own, uh, like in, into the normal line. It's that. But, this car just feels too floaty, and it only has a 402 horsepower, and it's going to the 375s on the right with various tires, and it's obviously been more and you can get excited, but it's much easier to get this side than it is the twin mill. And that's such crazy to think. But yeah, this car looks incredible. It is a really, really cool looking car. I'm not going to say it isn't because it is phenomenal. It's crazy and that's how a Hot Wheels car should be. Like, look at this spine thing next to me. I don't know what that's used for, it's just there. It doesn't have a roof, it doesn't have side fenders. It has side exit and exhaust as well as uh, the pipes coming out the bonnet. And it sounds cool. And the modification you get, you get a really cool front split, you get a really, really cool rear wing. You can slam it down to the ground, and this thing looks many similar to a like that. It can basically become a hot wad, hot, hot wad, yeah, a hot wad, a hot rod. And it does look really cool, and I, I much prefer it upgraded into S1 class, which I've got a car into S1 class now, and I really like it in S1 class because it gets some speed. It's just, start, it's just not the best car ever, and that's what we're reviewing here, whether or not the car is good stock and just how much it needs upgrading. Now, where honestly did I think this car would come on the leaderboards? Well, I thought it would do pretty well because of the um, way the Hot Wheels cars are up to now. So, like I said, uh, the fastest car we have taken round in A class is the Hot Wheels Mustangs in S1, and that's that got a 101, and the twin one got a 1 dead basically. But the first car we took on in A class was the Tesla Model S P90D. Now, this got a 105.799, and this car, as you can see up to now, has only got a 108.135. Admittedly, we've had a um, dirty lap which was faster, and you will see that we will get a fast lap very, very soon. And Right now, the fastest lap I've been able to get with this Hot Wheels um, Bone Shaker is a 107.201. Now, this is incredibly, incredibly slow for where it is in class. I'll give you an example. Admittedly, the Jeep Trail Car got a 106.36, that's not an S1 class, but that's not made for this kind of stuff. The um, Chevrolet Corvette ZR1. Got 106.168, that's a low PI. The Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat and Dodge Charger, Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat, lower PIs. 
Porsche 959, 107.167. And that was in 48th place. This Hot Wheels bonus goes into 49th place with a 107.201. Just beating the BMW i8 with a 107301. Goes into 49th place. And if I had to recommend this car, I wouldn't. Stop. Do not use it for a race. On Hot Wheels, it's too slow. On a normal race, it's too slow. Admittedly, it's got amazing traction, but it's not, not good enough. So, that wraps up, really. You'll see me do some, do the final lap, and do some celebratory donuts, even though it's celebrating, basically going into near last place. But, because it can do celebratory donuts. But, that's a wrap for today, guys. If you liked today's video, leave a like and comment what car you want to see review next time. We might go into some of the Porsches. We could also go into stuff like the Ferrari F40, the McLaren P, uh, F1, the McLaren F1 Longtail, um, just stuff like that. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. Timmy's Hyper, signing out.